This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. Today I'm very lucky to join by Anthony Yard. So how have you been, Anthony? What have you been up to then? Fantastic, man. How are you? Yeah, I've been good, thank you. So what's that necklace you got down there? Hey, where? No, it's just my initials, my, um, my logo. It's literally just my initials, that's it. And so if we just touch on the fight that's coming up with you this Saturday, what's changed in the last in this camp that's, that's been different in the last camp? Obviously, the new addition of James Cook. Um, what's changed is... I don't even like to use the word mental health, but my mental state is what's changed. Um, there's a lot more focus on the fight, this fighting camp. Um, again, there's no, there's no secret. The last fight I had um, a traumatic year. So again, it's hard to focus on a fight when you've had um, four deaths in your family in a short space of time. But again, that's no excuses. This fight, I'm a lot more clear-headed. I'm a lot more focused on the job I've got in hand. And that's it. Yeah, Michael Dennis about the deaths in your family. And do you think the first time you might have underestimated Lyndon a bit? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, the fight was just tactically fought wrong. And um, I made a lot of wrong decisions whilst I was in the boxing ring. And that's it. It's a very, it's a very simple situation. You know, and it's something that's... Um, it's, not, it's not simple to correct, but as long as you know what to do, it makes the job a bit easier. Okay, and as I mentioned earlier, you brought in the new addition of James Cook. What impact has James made in your training? James has made a fantastic addition. Um, experience. Experience, experience, experience. Um, those that know boxing or that have boxed themselves, we know that when you've got some experience in your corner and you're being advised different things at different times, it helps a lot. It helps you feel better within yourself. Your body feels better. Um, your preparation goes a, little, a bit better. And um, yeah, it's been good. I can understand. And if you just touched on the last fight, in the 12th round, you had a very good round. Does that give you confidence coming into the second fight? It has to give me confidence. It definitely has to give me confidence. Um, again, let me, I'll give you a little breakdown of my thought process here. My thought process wasn't, it wasn't right in the first fight. But my thought process was this. The winner of the fight gets a world title shot. Again, whilst I was in that fight, I felt very comfortable. You know, I felt like the, the fight was going my way. I felt like I was ahead by like five rounds. When I watched it back, it was a lot closer than I thought. But my thought process was this. When I fought Kovalev, although it was in Russia and all them kind of things, when it got to a certain round, you know, I wasn't experienced in, in them rounds. In this fight, I was like, you know, I got a world title shot again next. You know, that's another level. Um, I'm good at this level, but the next level is going 12 rounds and being strong for 12 rounds. So that's why when the 12th round came, I literally said, all right, this is the 12th round, so I can go for it. And that's why, that's the only time in the fight you saw me go for it. Um, it was nothing to do with stamina. It was nothing to do with any of that. It was just about counting the rounds. Again, that's why I always say to myself, and that's why I always say in my interviews, mentally I wasn't there because I was thinking all the wrong things. I was thinking things I shouldn't have been thinking while I was in the boxing room. Oh, OK. And you just mentioned there the Kovalev fight. Obviously, that's quite a big step up in competition. How much did you take from that fight, experience-wise? I took a lot from that fight, experience-wise. Um, one of the main things was going out to Russia. Something like 99.9.9.9.9.9% of boxers wouldn't do. Um, to fight, again, at the time, the most dangerous light heavyweight, um, other than myself, I believe. Um, there's a lot of experience to be taken. You know, and um, you don't know what you're going to do until you're in a situation. And then when I was in that fight, once I got him hurt, again, I didn't make the right decision. So going into all my future fights, it's about making the right decisions at the right time. Of course. And just before I let you go, get on with the rest of your day. Any prediction or obviously no prediction? I don't give predictions. I just, I just urge people to tune in to BT Sports, 4th of December, Saturday this Saturday and enjoy the show. All right, best of luck to Saturday, Anthony. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.